testing. Um, this is going to be a demonstration of grabbing data from the web and then just using a little filtering and sorting option. So it's kind of a simple example. So in Microsoft Excel, you know, you might be on the home ribbon and uh, you want to grab some data. So you certainly you'd click on the data tab for that. And at the far left, you've got some options for getting external data. And one of those options is getting external data from the web. And uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and click that option. And what it does is it opens up a web query window. You see the web query window. And it needs a URL. Now I happen to have a URL on my clipboard, so I'm just going to paste that URL with the control V. So I just paste it on there. And you can see that URL. It's kind of an ugly URL, www. Uh, I guess that's iihs.org slash research slash fatality underscore facts underscore 2006 state by state dot html. You get your URL in there and you hit the go button. And what it does is it pulls up the uh, web page, but you'll notice the little yellow arrows here. That first top left yellow arrow, not the one outside the window, but the first top left one here, would select the entire web page, which I don't want to do. What I want to do is I want to try to find some tables of data. So I'm just going to scroll down. You'll notice there's a nice table of data with some uh, information of state and population and vehicle crashes and so on. So I'm going to go ahead and click that little, little yellow arrow you see right there. And what it does then is it selects the the table of data. And I'm going to hit the import button down here at the lower right. So if I, I click the import button, it says where do I want to put that data? And I want to go ahead and put it on this existing sheet in cell A1. So I'll just click OK and it goes and grabs that data from that web page and pops it right onto my page here. Now this is a nice database, but first things first, I got to clean it up a little bit. I need some field headers here at the top. So just above the state information, I'm going to go ahead and put the state field header in there, and I'll just drag that one down since I've already have that one. So that's a nice one, and I'll just make that bold so that we can see that a little bit more clearly. The next one is the population field, so I'll grab that population field, and this next field is uh, fatal crashes. So I think I'll just type that, fatal crashes. And this one is crash deaths, so I think I'll type that. And I'm not sure what the rate is. Um, I'm not sure if it's deaths per population or whatever here, but I'm just going to get rid of that column. So I'm going to right click on the E and uh, choose delete and delete column E. And I need to get rid of rows 1 and 2 because they're not part of that data either. Before I do that, let me make these field names bold, just like I did states. I'll make those bold. And then I'm going to highlight rows 1 and 2. It's by simply dragging my cursor across the 1 and the 2. Right click, choose delete. Um, it's a little bit off the screen. You can't see it, but just choose the delete option. And I deleted those two rows. And then I'm just going to scan on down here and see if I've got any data that I don't want or or garbage in my little data set here. And you'll notice down here at the bottom I've got the US total. Well, that's nothing I want, so I'll just go ahead and delete that row also with a right click and delete. And now I can double click between the A and the B, and I've got a lot better data. Resize some of my columns, and <laughs> there we go. So I'll maybe center those headers or change the alignment or some, or change the uh, background or something. Um, but those are my headers. Now at that point, if I want to do something with the data, I click on cell A1 and I go to data and I hit my filter button and notice I get my filters. So I could sort, for instance, by population. So let's say I want to sort by population. I can say largest to smallest. And of course, California comes up to the top, and off I go. And I could say, uh, you know, fatal crashes, where California's got the most, and crash deaths. California, of course, has the most there, too. But we could also do a per capita thing by adding a new column, putting in a formula for per capita, and then adding that to our data, uh, data table and uh, sorting on per capita deaths, for instance. So anyway, that's pretty much how you do a web query. You can grab some data pull it in and then start doing some database activities with that data or maybe you could do some charting or some other things like that.